Hello and welcome to lesson three. We're going to begin this lesson which involves uh, creating some blackout poetry and putting it on a lovely landscape background. Uh, you will need a pencil, a black permanent marker some kind, uh, that's a fine line marker, a pair of scissors, and three pages of text. Um, I've just torn these randomly out of books and then one uh, out of a magazine. So um, what you'll want to do, first of all, uh, we're going to be making very simple shapes. So I'm just going to take one of my pieces of text and uh, the first thing that I'm going to draw is a candle. So I'm going to do it with a pencil and just a very simple like pillar candle with a flame. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, that's the first one. And the second one, I'm going to draw a person and it's a very, um, very easy person, just a head. Like here, and then uh, arms. And then on this one, I'm going to kind of make use of these big words at the top, and I'm going to make a tree. Okay, there are my three shapes. So I have here my three pieces of uh, text that are now cut into shapes. This is where the black fine line marker comes in. And uh, what I would like to invite you to do is to begin to look at your pieces of text, and I'll bring mine in a little bit closer here. Uh, bring, look at your pieces of text and draw boxes around the words that seem to stand out to you. Our next step is to write down on a piece of paper or in a journal the words that you have drawn boxes around. So I'm just going to place them next to my paper here and I'm just choosing to use a journal. Uh, I have a journal that has these kinds of creative uh, endeavors collected in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and write down the words that I have drawn boxes around. You don't have to keep them sorted by uh, the shape that they're on. You can just have them all together. <laughs> 